नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द सोशियोलॉजी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ क्लास 11 एंड द चैप्टर इज कल्चर एंड सोशलाइजेशन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द चैप्टर लेट्स वी हैव अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टर्म कल्चर एज द कल्चर इज अ वेरी न्यू टर्म फॉर यू टू स्टडी सो वी कैन सिंपली डिफाइन कल्चर एज आइडियाज नॉलेज बिहेवियर्स बिलीव आर्ट वैल्यूज मोरल्स laws customs and any other capabilities and habits acquired by particular people or society and these are passed along from one generation to the next by the way of communication here culture encompasses religion food what we wear how we wear it our language marriage music what we believe is right or wrong how we sit at the table our eating manners how we greet visitors how we behave with loved ones and a millions of other things here if i'll give you an example like if you greet someone by folding your hand and saying namaste it is considered as indian culture but at the same time if you shake hands with someone then it is a sign of western culture here one activity is given for you that uh, how do you greet another person in your culture and do you greet different kinds of person differently so you can discuss any awkward experience you may have had when you did not know how you should greet a person uh, because you did not share a common culture here just like you need a map to navigate over unknown space or territory in the same way you need culture to conduct or behave yourself in society culture is a common understanding which is learnt and developed through social interaction with others in society but cultures are never finished products they are always changing and evolving elements are constantly being added deleted expanded shrunk and rearranged and this makes cultures dynamic as functioning units the capacity of individuals to develop a common understanding with others and to draw the same meanings from sign and symbol is what distinguishes humans from other animals here creating meaning is a social virtue as we learn it in the company of others in families groups and communities we learn the use of tools and techniques as well as the non material sign and symbols through interaction with family members diff, uh, family members friends and colleagues in different social settings and much of this knowledge is systematically described and conveyed either orally or through books for example here you can notice the interaction given below that uh, uh, in this uh, interaction you can notice that uh, how words and facial expressions convey meaning in a conversation so this is the interaction given in your book so this learning prepare us for carrying out our roles and responsibilities in society you have uh, already dealt with status and roles in the previous classes and we know that the family is primary socialization while that which happens in the school and other institutions are secondary socialization so we shall discuss this in greater detail later in this chapter in our next class we will discuss about diverse settings different cultures so till then take care of yourself namaskar